Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, and 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 Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. We're we're on the Mishnah on the Afayim and Aleph. Ezohi Er Gedola. What is considered a big city? Why do we have to know what's a big city? We learned in the beginning of the Masechta. You remember we learned that there when the Megillah is read for big cities, it's an irregular city like we do. It's read on the 14th. Right. But for small villages, we, the Mishnah said that we're Magdim and Leom Haknisa. We go back to the market day where the people came in on Mondays and Thursdays. So that it says in the first Mishnah, the Megillah is read on the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. Okay, how is it read on each of those days? Because if Purim came on the 14th, you read on the 14th. And, and Jews on Purim is on the 15th, so it's been on the 15th. How's it been on the 13th? If Purim would come on a, a Purim would come on a Tuesday, so the day before was the 13th, right. they would read the Megillah in the in the in the in the, in the little villages that right. came in to market. They came on Monday, so it's the 13th. Okay. If Purim came on, if Purim came on a, on a uh, Wednesday. So then it would go back two days to Monday. So that's the 12th. And if Purim came on Sunday, it would go back to Thursday. That's the 11th. And okay. So that was on Thursday. Robert? The good news Thursday. Everybody went on 14th. Everybody no problem. Said, yeah. That's normal. Okay. Right. So he said that there's a difference between the, the, the small little villages and the big cities. So now you have to know how do you define a big city that reads it on the day of the 14th. So the Mishnah all says, wherever, wherever, wherever they would come together on Mondays, and we're going to see later on in the Gemara, wherever they would come together on Mondays and Thursdays, and those are market days, that's where we observe the rule of where we read it earlier. Okay, now, and the same thing with wall cities, wall cities was all over, right. wherever there was a wall city. Okay, now the Mishnah says, What's a big city that we read it only on the 14th? So the Mishnah says, I'll tell you how you know. As long as there are 10 batlonim in the city. What's a batlon? What's a batlon? Okay. All right. So, so, the, so, the, so the, we're going to see, we're going to see later on in the Gemara what batlonim means. But the, the, the terminology is a very strange terminology. What it meant to say was, as long as there are always 10 people in shul. The Batlana meant people who don't have to go to work, they're bottled from Melacha, right. and consequently, they can be in shul to learn all day, daven all day, and so on. Why does it use such a term like Batlana? But, you know, we, we look at Batlana as a, a derogatory term. Right, right. Why is it right. called the Batlana? What do you say? Kol she, kol, you could have said, Kol she yesh ba asara noshim. Anoshim, asara anoshim, asara lomdim, asara tamidim, asara kailal yungalite. I mean, they could have said many different things. What's the term batlonim? So it's a very unusual term. And and the Sisseh Chachamim, the Pavish on the Gemara, the Sisseh Chachamim comes along and he says it's based on the Gemara of Brachas on Davav Amid Beis, where the Gemara of Brachas on Davav Amid Beis says, when a Kodesh Baruch Hu comes to Shul in the morning and there aren't 10 people, that are there ready to daven on time, Hashem, Miyad Hashem Koleis. Now Hashem comes to the base Aknesis, base Medrash, and there aren't 10 people in shul, Miyad Hashem Koleis. So what happens when you have a shul that has 10 people, what you're doing is you're mevatel that gezeira. Oh. Mevat, batlon. Right. They're mevatel the gezeira oh. that when Hashem comes and there's not 10 people, they're they are the 10 people that are Batlanim, the Mavatl, the Gezeira. That's a very important statement from the Sifse Chachon. There's, a, there's a, a statement by, there was a statement by, I think it was by the Balatanya who made a statement that the only ones who should, who should daven for the Amid were one of the 10 Batlanim. Really? Nobody else should daven for the Amid. Why is that? Because if they're Batlanim, they don't have to go to work. So they're going to daven slow. If you're going to get a guy, yeah, but oh, <laughs> you know, yes, that sure won't have too many people daven. That's, that's another problem. But, but that's what he suggested. 
He suggested they won't go so fast. You'll have a good minion. Okay. <laughs> so the Mishnah says, so so ezo yirgadol akol sheish basar b'lan pachus mikan. If there's less than ten people who come to shul, harezar, then it has the din of a village that you're magdim in liom aknisa. Now I'm sorry. That, then it's then it's a, then, then no then no. It's not. It's it's not not the, 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 because the Mishnah at the beginning said uh uh gedolos. So a kfar could be a village, even though it doesn't have ten batlonim, it's still going to be on the fourteenth, right? What we were talking about is kfarim shemagdim liyom aknisa, the small villages. Okay, normally they would be on the fourteenth, but here uh, anything less than ten. But Lanam is not an ear gedola, it's a kfar. And the Mishnah continues, kfar, these kfarim, not with a base, with a pay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. These kfarim, be'elu omru magdim of Lomachman. These are the villages in which the first Mishnah said, you are makdim liyom maknisa. They can go back one day to the 13th, two days to the 12th, mm -hmm. three days to the 11th. To the days Magdimen Veloma Achman. They can they they read earlier, but you never can read later. You never can read past the 15th. The Gemara is going to explain why. Okay, but you never can read past the 15th. Okay, Rashi over here. But Elu Amru, Bismanim Shel Megillah Amru, Magdimen. In the times of the reading Megillah, that's when they say you read earlier. If the 14th comes on Shabbos, you read on Thursday. Okay. All right. Now, back to the Mishnah. Avo, but other times that are set in place, such as Zman Atze Akahan Va'om. There's a word missing in there. The Bach fills it in. The Zman Atze Akahan Va'om, the time of the bringing of the Karban Eitzim. That is brought on behalf of the people. We're going to see in a minute in the Rashi. Rashi is going to explain this. So that particular case, when the Zman Atzei Kahanim Ve'Om comes, or the Tisha Ba'Av, or if Tisha Ba'Av comes on Shabbos, right? Tisha Ba'Av comes on Shabbos. You don't go earlier. Chagiga, the carbon Chagiga. If a Yomtev falls on Shabbos, in which you have to bring a carbon Pesach and a carbon Cha Giga. And on Shavuos, you bring carbon Chagiga. So does you bring Chagiga. The bringing of a carbon Chagiga, you don't go earlier. The Hakel and the Mitzvah of Hakel. Ashley's going to explain all these Mitzvahs, which we know about. Hakel happens at the end of Shemitah year on Sukkot. Uh, the 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 pasuk the pa, the pasuk in uh, the pasuk in where is it in Vayelech uh, the pasuk in Vayelech tells the, one of the last mitzvahs in the mitzvahs in the Torah Hakel uh, uh, yeah yeah Rabbi Rabbi uh, can you place some water no I'm you okay yeah I'll be uh, it's in, not not in the uh, in Vayelech I'm sorry yeah it says like this it says uh, uh, Right, you gather them together. Uh, that's what he said. Uh, what what pasuk? Lamed Aleph, where? Lamed Aleph. Yeah, on, uh, here it is. Here it is. Pasuk Yubeis. Yubeis says Hakel as Om Haanoshim vaHanoshim vaTaf. You have to gather together the the women, the men, and the women. The children, the gecha Hashem shavecha, leman yishmau uleman yilmedu, so that they will hear and they will learn, right? The yiru, the yoru as Hashem lekechem, the shomru lasas is called the vei Torah zos. Okay, so that's the mitzvah of hakel. We'll see in the, in the Rashi in a minute. These cases that we just mentioned: zman atzik kahanim, tisha b'av, chagiga, hakel, ma'achrin, v'lo magdim. Those you push off a day, but not do earlier. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look at the Rashi on this. It says, Man, not say, I can't have a, um, 
What's this, the time of the bringing of the Atzei Kahanim, says Rashi. Tainus, which we learned recently. Shel Yisrael. There were eight families of Klal Yisrael. Shekavu Alehem Yomim B'chol Shana. That they had specific times every year. Lahavi Eitzim Lamigdash. They had the privilege of bringing the wood to the base Hamigdash for the burning of the Karbanas on the Mizbech. And even though the Tzorach HaMarocha, for the needs of the fire, even though Hashem sent the fire, right? But you have to build the fire too. Okay. Umevi'in Karban Eitzim Imoem, and they would bring this Karban Eitzim with them, Im Chol Leos V'Shabbos, if that day would come on Shabbos, says Rashi, Ma'achrin Leomachar, you don't go earlier. Then you do it a day later. The chain tishba of shakolios bishabis. And also if Tishabov comes on Shabbos. Now Rashi is now going to deal with the next question. How come the Mishnah only mentions Tishabov? What about Shivasa Batamas? What about all the other fast days? Says the Rashi. The same law applies not only for Tishabov, but also Asura Bateves. Whatever. Then could the high denaka tishba of oh why is it only mentioned in Shabbat when you give us a batamas? You also have um you also have a sarbatevis, right? Why did it mention those days? Okay, the hook below both sarais because tishabak were double troubles. Okay, the colm is an involved and everybody fears on those days. Avol Sha'arts almost, but other fast days, Amrina, now this is, don't, don't jump out of your seats when you read this next line. Okay. Avol Sha'arts almost, but all other fast days, right? I'm sorry, but it doesn't mention here, right? Okay. All other fast days, the Miss Amrina, the second Rosh Hashanah, it says, on that Yudches, Ratsu Misanim, Ratsu A Misanim. Whoa. You never heard that before, huh? But it's quoted in the Gemara in Rosh Hashanah. Yeah. It's not quoted in the Halacha, but yeah. you should know that the Mishnah Brewer brings it down in Simon Tafkuf Nun. In Tafkuf Nun and Sikot and Aleph, he brings it down. Now watch this. Here it's talking about Hevdel Sheyesh Ben Tishabav Yes, it's almost. The, the, the Machaber brings down the difference between Tishabav and all the other fair states. Mm -hmm. Watch what he says. Hakol chayovin lusanos arba tzomos halolu. Everyone is chayiv to fast these four day, fast days, right? We know what we know what those four fast days are, right? Tishrei, Yudzai Matamas, Gimel Tishrei, and Asher Betayis. Why don't we mention Megillah Sesta? I mean, Tana Sesta. Yeah. Why not mention Tana Sesta? Tana Sesta is not here. It's not. It's not mentioned here at all. Right. Why is that? Because it's different. Tana Sesta is different exactly. altogether. It's a strange Tana. It's a tinus that has simcha in it. It's like a very strange tinus. There's, there's, there's a lot going on on tinus Esther, and it's a very lenient tinus also, but it was, it, it, it's not the same as the other ones, which are because of a tragedy. Okay, now, the, the Mishnah Peru on Sifkat now said like this, right? And at the end of the, at the, uh, the, 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 the Ramor brings down, right? He says, uh, he says, women who are pregnant or nursing, they don't have to fast. And even if they're not so in trouble, not so much pain, they don't got to fast. Mm -hmm. But it's a minute to be machmir. The dav give a gimel somos. Our petition of mechiyavas lahashlim. On tishabav, they're required to fast. But also live for together. And you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to break through. Because you have to keep the rules. Now, the Mishnah Brewer says like this. Listen to this Mishnah Brewer. Okay. He says like this, even though we have a conclusion in the Gemara Rosh Hashanah, we just quote on Yudches, when the Goyim don't have strong decrees against the Jews, where it's not a place where Jews are downtrodden, 
I have to wear stars or an armband or special hats. Like, like in America, right? Yeah, yeah. Totally Hadov, it's on Yisrael. Then whether you fast or not is dependent on the Jewish people. The Hainu, Imarat Sudov Yisrael. If the majority of the Jewish people agree to fast, fast Kimu, and they and they agree, Shalolis Anos by Gimel Thomas Arisha, with these optional fast days, or it's just be all done. They can do it. Yeah. They can do it, and they can pass a decree. You don't got to fast. Oh. But, the Chav Tchayim ends off by saying, Kosu HaPoskim, the Achshav, oh, in our day today, Kvar Ratzu V'Kiblu Aleim Klau Yisrael Midor Dor. It's already been accepted amongst all of Klai Yisrael. For many generations that we fast on these days, even though there may not be a, a Yad Takif al Yisrael, the Osir Lifer together and it's forbidden to breach that fence. So, in other words, even though Rashi over here brings down that Gemara in Rosh Hashanah, which mm -hmm. says Ratsu Misanim, Ratsu A Misanim, mm -hmm. that's not Lalo today. That is. If the Ruba, the Ruba of the Poskim would say, you don't have to fast. But because and it's been many, many centuries, many, 2,000 years that we've already accepted upon ourselves, mm. we can't go now and say, ah, you don't got to fast these things. Mm. Unless, you know, yeah. you, you know, you're one of the, other, it, you're one of the wayward Jews, you know, you know, like the Reform, whatever. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You notice, you notice the Reform Jews. The guy, guy, the reform Jewish guy, asked his rabbi, are, "Are you allowed? To, are you allowed to go on a plane on on, on Saturdays?" So he said, "Yeah, if you wear the seatbelt, it's like you're wearing the plane, so it's okay." <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, next, Rachagiga, yeah, and the Chagiga. Now, what's the Chagiga? The Chagiga is a carbon that was brought every yom, right? Says Rashi, Shalme Chagiga. This doesn't mean the payback. It doesn't mean you, you pay the shalim. It means shlomim. Shalmei chagiga. The carbon the, the shlomim yeah. of chagiga that are brought on Yontif, lemacha, are, are brought the next day. Shareyeshla tashlum in kol shiva. Because a carbon chagiga, you can pay back for seven days. Uh -huh. For seven days. We're going to see the application of this. Very interesting. Very interesting application of this. The chain hakel esa'om. Also, the myths of Hakel, which took place in the first year of Shemitah, on the the last day of Sukkot. And he quotes the person that we just read. Right? That we just read. By the way, this is actually brought up in the Gemara, we're going to learn on Sota, yeah. And I mean, Mem Aleph, it's later on. Shahaya Amelech Kore Batora, Sefer Mishnah Torah. That the Melech on the, on the, the Melech on the last day of Yom Tif, of Sukkot, on Shmi Atzeres, would read the entire Torah. The Chol Ha'om Chayov in Lovo, says Rashi. Everybody was Chayov to Kamu, Lohovi is Tapon. They not only had to come, but they had to bring their little children. Even the top, the famous Rashi over there, where you have to bring the top, right? To so give schar to the parents that bring them, and so on. And on Shabbos, you can't do that. Why not? Let's take a look. And they do it instead the next day. Okay. Now, why? What's the reason? The hod law of din and lay the Shabbos. Why don't they do the kriyas atora on Shabbos if that day comes on Shabbos? habima. Oh, because they had to build a big platform mm -hmm. where the king would sit and, or stand and read the Torah, right? Kiritnan, like it says in the Masechta Sota, Bima shall eat so you also lamelech. They made this big bima for the king, but Azora in 
the Azara of the Beis HaMikdash, the Yoshev Aleha, and he would sit there and read the Torah. Upachinan, awesome. And over there, the Gemara asked the question, will I have them? They asked, oh, wait a minute. Prepare the day before. Mm-hmm. And I said, so you can't, you can't build it on Shabbos. So if Shabbos happens to be the day, okay, 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 you can build it. Yeah, the mm-hmm. day before. It's Eretz Israel. Yeah. Okay. you can build it. Yeah. yeah. Why the day before? He says in Mishani, the answer, the Chikalei Azara. Well, it's a big, tremendous beamer. The, the Azara is going to have less room, and the Jews won't fit into the Azara. The Jews won't fit in the Azara. Okay. All right. All right. Next, back to the Mishnah. Okay, so all these things, all these things we read over here, all of them, you're going to go ma'achrin, you go, you read them later, velo makdamina, but you don't read them earlier. Okay. Now, the Mishnah continues. We're now four lines down in the Mishnah, five lines down in the Mishnah. Mm-hmm. Even though we said all along that for these days, of the reading of the Megillah. You can read the Megillah earlier, but we don't read them later. That's the gears that we have. Mutarin the Hesper of times. The days you read it earlier are not like a regular Purim. On Purim, it's forbidden to have a Hesper, and on Purim, it's forbidden to fast. Mm-hmm. But if you are in a village in which the Megillah is going to be read earlier because of the market day, mm-hmm. then that day is permitted to have Hesed and oh, Tainus. Oh, oh. The, day we, we the, day, the, day, the day you read the Megillah. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. Oh, we're not even sure What? No sure then. Why not? Well, we'll see, we'll see. Watch, watch. Oh, Matanos Le'Evyonim. Oh, now when it comes to Matanos Le'Evyonim, you give it out on the day the Megillah is read. You remember right. why? You know, the reason? We learned in the last year. She'enayim shalanim nosim the Mikra Megillah, mm-hmm. because the eyes of the poor people are lifted up. Right. Oh, they're reading the Megillah tonight. Money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, good. So therefore, you're allowed to, by the way, is it that you're just allowed to give Matanus Le'evyonim on that earlier day? Or is it that you're hired to give Matanus Le'evyonim on the earlier day? No, but tell them about when the reading of the Megillah takes place. You're saying, but- uh, on Purim, there's a special din. So it has to be because of uh, it's Purim that they have to give it a... Right, so... so <laughs> it's not. I can give any day I want. Okay, so... You don't have to tell me they can give money. So in other words, it's not an option. No. It's a chiyu. Yeah. Uh, right. It's a chiyu. It's a chiyu. It's a chiyu, right. Next. Right. Uh, I'm a Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda says, Amosai, when do all these rules of earlier and later apply? Mokom she nechnosen v'sheni v'chamishi. Where... In every village, they used to come together on Mondays and Thursdays. Thursdays. But if they didn't get together Mondays and Thursdays, right? Right? Then the Megillah is only read in the right time. The villages. Right. But, but when... But when... Right. But when... The, when the region you're living in didn't have market days Mondays and Thursdays. Uh-huh. Where, they, where they just read the Torah Mondays and Thursdays. Right. Uh-huh. But it wasn't that everybody came in. Okay, but it doesn't mean everybody came in. So in other words, it wasn't a day in which the vi- because these villages would come in only on Mondays and Thursdays in order to give Mayim and Muslim Achayim Shabbat But when they didn't do this, and they would come on Purim itself, no problem. Okay. Mm-hmm. Says Rashi, demon, you can't read it earlier. Time of first month. Why can't you read it earlier? Okay, we'll see in the Gemara. Okay, next. Says the Gemara, Tana, uh, we learn in the Brisa, when it's said in the Mishnah, that an Ir Gedola is a big city that has in it Asara Batlanim, Asara Batlanim, Shabbat Sakna says it's got to be ten batlon that come to shul. Mm-hmm. Not, not that they bottle and sit around and drink wine. Be'elu amu magdim v'lo ma'achem. In all of these cases that we read till now, right? Be'elu in all these cases, you know, uh, uh, 
in in uh, in in, uh, in the villages. That's where you can. That's where you're making it earlier, but not later. But the other cases we read about, right, which are uh, uh, which are the case of Tishabov and Chagiga, Atzeh Kahanim, and so on. My timer. Why do we read it earlier and we can't make it later? Why? Why? Why can't we read the Megillah later? Just like we're doing later on Tishabov yeah. and on. Uh, and on the Bima, Zmanatzi uh, Kahanim, why can't we do the same thing with the Megillah? Amar Rabbi Abba, Amar Shmuel, Rabbi Abba said in the name of Shmuel, it's a puzzle. Amar Kro, the puzzle of Megillah says, the lo yavar, that these are the days of Purim, you may have Purim ha'ele, the lo yavar. It'll never go beyond, uh, 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 beyond that point. Right, now, we just quoted, uh, let's take a look at the Gemara first, I saw about line of the Rashi, the Rashi had a wide line, first wide line of the, uh, of the Rashi, right? I saw about Lana, Shavay Sakhnasas, Shane Batalim and Lachtam. That means they're bottled from doing their work. Venizonim Michel Tzibur, and the Tzibur pays their Kolel stipend. Kedvei, Leos Mitsui, Mitsui, Vavay Sakhnasas, Domar Mar, Mitsach Liz Brachis, and we quoted this before. Even Shabbat, Kodesh Baruch Hu, Vesach Nesses, Ve'eno Motzi Shama Sora, Miyad Koes. He immediately gets angry, mm -hmm. and that was why it's called Balon. They have a battle, the Kas. Okay. Next, we are now on the last of the narrow lines. Okay, the last of the narrow lines. Now, what we're about to read now. What we're about to learn now mm -hmm. is not necessarily connected directly with Mesechta Megillah, but we can find some connection. But notice the previous statement, So there aren't many statements in Shas that were said by Rabbi Abba Amashmuel. So even though the Gemara seems to have been jumping from one topic to another, there's method to the madness. The, the Gemara is clumping together all the statements of Rabbi Abba Omar Shmuel. So that if you ever wanted to know, oh, wait a minute, where do I find the statements that were made by Rabbi Abba Omar Shmuel? You look over here. Okay, next. The Omar Rabbi Abba Omar Shmuel. Rabbi Abba Omar Shmuel said another statement. From where do we know that you don't count days for years? I'll, I'll explain what this means in a minute. Shenemar, but it says in the Pasuk, Lechod Shei Ashana. In the Pasuk, in Shmos, it says, HaChodesh Ezeh Lachem, Rosh Chodashim, Vishon Hu Lachem, Lechod Shei Ashana. So Lechod Shei Ashana means, Chadashim Atamonu Lashanim. When it comes to years, you can count by months. Okay? Ve'i Atamonu Yama Lashanim. When it comes to years, you don't count days. What do you mean, you don't count days? What's going on? Okay? Take a look in the Rashi. Rashi explains. Okay, third line down on the wide lines. Minayin she'ein mona yom lishan. Kegon. Here's the example. The Omar, a man comes along and he says, "Kon name yayin she'ani toem lishana." Oh, this guy makes a neder. He's not going to taste wine for an entire year. All right. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mona yud beis chodesh miyom liyom. He has to count 12 months from the day he made the nether. Okay? Ve'im nadar be'echad Nisan. And if he made the nether on the first day of Nisan, osur ad ben Nisan habo. He's forbidden to taste wine till the next Nisan. That's what he said. He said, yud beis chodesh, he said. He said, is that the Shana? The Shana. From one Nisan to yeah. one Nisan. Okay. That's 12 months. Yeah, but it's going to be 13. Oh, 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 oh. Wait a minute. But that's not what Rashi brings down. It's still missing 11 days. Oh, there. Ah, she Chama, you save it on Yemos Halavana. Right, 254, 365. Oh, 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 o
or sometimes Sha'anu Osu Khadasim Khasim. Sometimes we can make months chaserim. What's a month that's chaser? A month that's chaser is 29 days. Right. The, 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 the moon goes around the earth in a 29 day, 12 hour, and a couple of uh, minutes, seconds after. That's why you'll always hear the Moled Vezayim, and he gives you 12 chalak after, because it's always divided up. I forget the exact. Uh, Equation, yeah. but it's 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 29 and a half days. Yeah. That's why, generally speaking, in the Jewish calendar year, in the lunar calendar year, you have six months of 30 days, right? 180, and six months of 29 days, right? Which total of 354. While in the solar calendar, you have 365. So you're always missing 11 days. But it could happen you'll be missing even more than 11 days if. That year, there are a couple of years that are chaser. Or that year, there are a couple of years that are molly. You won't be missing 11. Not only that, but in the Jewish year, you can even add a whole leap month. So then it'll come out that instead of 354, you'll have 383 or 384. And that's much more than 365. So Rashi is telling us, he's not mentioning the, uh, the obvious. But what he's trying to say is, it's clear that it doesn't always jive. But what we do is we only count months. So therefore, it goes from one Nissan to one Nissan. Okay, that's what he says. Okay. Okay. Remind me, I have to make a comment about Rosh Chodesh. Uh, I'm gonna not now uh, remind me at the end of the year. Okay, now, okay, now, so and he says, so he said on the first line of the wide lines that Rabbi Abba said the name of Shmuel. From where do we know that you don't count uh, Yomim Fishanim? Because it says, mm-hmm. second line of the wide lines, the Kisri Mishum Rabbi Abba Amru, but the rabbis of Caesarea. Said in the name of Rabbi Abba, Minayin, they, they took it a step further. Minayin she'em chashin shows la chadosh. Oh, how do we know that when you count months, you can't go by hours? We'll see in a minute what this means. Shenemar, because it says in Bamidbar, it says, Ad chodesh yamin. Over there, it talks about they were eating the fat birds, the slug, and it said, Ad chodesh yamin. Until a month of days. Yeah. From there we learn, yeah. When it comes to months, you can't go by hours. When it comes to months, you go by days. Says Rashi, you don't count hours for months. Kagon, there's an example. Oh, this, this guy just missed the boat, you know. Ha Omer, a guy says to his wife, Zegi Teich, here is your get. She's so happy. Im lo vasi mikan ad chodesh ze. If I don't come back by this month, I don't come back by chodesh iyar, right? It's your get. Vaya chodesh chosim. And iyar, let's say that year, well, let's use a better example, right? Nissan, usually one day, right? Is what he was no, no, yeah, always, uh, two days. Yeah. So Nisan one day. Right. So, so he says, if I don't come back, and other is only 29 days. Okay. And he came at dark of the 29th day. Uh, 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 uh. We say. It's still Chodesh Adar, even though it's 12 and a half hours more. Is that something? No. It, 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 no. It, it, 29 days in Adar, right? Now, every time the moon goes around the earth, it's 29 and a half days. But we count Rosh Chodesh from Tzesek Ochovim of the end of the 29th day. Right. And even though there's not 12 hours, technically, uh-huh. right? He's, uh-huh. His goose is cooked. 
Oh, good. Oh, it's, good. it's in this scenario. Uh, because it's in this And he has a few hours left and he's screaming, no, no, the moon didn't go around 12. You blew it, mister. Yeah? Yeah? Because the, the moon is really 12 and a half. Uh, 29 and a half days. Right, right, right. But he came at Seshach of the night after the 29th day. And even though, technically speaking, he still got 12 hours for the moon to finish its circuit, circuitous route around the earth, nevertheless, because we pronounced that it is Rosh Chodesh, no good. And he's got to give her another month's worth. Okay. 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 So now we go back to the Gemara. Okay. All right. Next. Avol zman atzei kahanan v'tisha v'av v'chagiga v'hakel ma'achmen v'lo magdimen. But all these other days, we read it later. Mm-hmm. Right? Not early. Uh, well, this is, we're going to start a new sylvia. We'll stop over here. This sylvia will take a little longer. We'll stop over here. By Avol zman. Okay, I wanted to mention one thing. One thing, about about one thing about Rosh Chodesh, it's very interesting. Even those, even those, even those people who hold the first minho from Pesach until Lagba Omer for not shaving and listening to music and so on. Okay, on Friday of this week. You're allowed to take a haircut. Right. Because, because, it, be, be, because in honor of Shabbos. And we have the Friday? No. 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 It will, it will close your Shabbos, Shabbos Sunday. So you can do it Friday? Yeah. Because. In honor of Shabbos. Okay. But Shabbos trumps the morning. Okay. So, and it's interesting. There is a Xerah, not a Xerah, there's a Minog. Of those who follow Rabbi Yehuda Chosek. Now you got to be careful here, oh, yeah. because because all the minhagim of Rabbi Yehuda Chosek were only made for his family. So anybody who goes and says, "I follow Rabbi Yehuda Chosek," first of all, you're in big trouble. Oh, there's so many wild minhagim. Again, again, again. Uh, every night, midnight, taking chutzes. Okay. Whatever, <laughs> whatever. We we don't we don't follow Rabbi Yehuda Chassid, but even those who do follow Rabbi Yehuda Chassid, who holds he can never take a hit on Rosh Chodesh. He holds he can't take. Only Rabbi Yehuda Chassid holds. Is a young to the no no. I once went to the bar on Rosh Chodesh. He got a hit, and uh, he said, "You're not that from, huh?" <laughs> so, well, what's, so why? He said, I don't have any business here in this town on Rosh Chodesh. I said, well, I'm, I'm going to give it something to keep up. <laughs> Ooh, well, nobody takes on that. Whatever. Okay. So, so the point is, this Friday, even those who hold, like Rabbi Yudah Chassid, agree that you're allowed to take a haircut this Friday. No, no, Shabbos. Right? The Shabbos is... Okay. So that, that's what I wanted to mention. And now I just want to mention this. Again... Again, <laughs> We shall not get exempt. You have a show of a new home, Mr. Bosom. Holy and Hoko, Sir, Yalza, I see the hover. Your animal, Mr. Bosom, was here. In Tishka, the Sifra, we shall have the Bosom, the Sefra. No, no, the Sishma also received a cabin with him, so here. Simple, the Sister of Law, a cop shot of Shop, you other made Santa Rosia, Stom Layeta, the scholars, the Yosef, the Bosom, the Shabosa, such be alone in the Smasa, Dasha, and Smasa, the Kebe, made off to Fatsam, the Sadikim, get exempt with a Sifra. I shed some on the Yaha Xil, Shamma calls Master Alvin and his brother, Yish Competa, brother of Shanam and Pacara, while Yerupin and Ganem and his master, they soon observe Haim, like I also was Kiss and Mason comes down for his own name. Oh, me, but we can only make a cash omen. Rotta, Kodish Borough, for the second. 